Please subscribe to Dave's YouTube channel. It only takes a second and it does really help the channel to grow. In this video the crew travel from Akel Bridge to Great Yarmouth. Dave manages to get it up for a few minutes. They can't touch him for it you know. I still remember where we were standing When the world stood still Um, a lovely morning. Looks like I'm going to have to cast off myself, you know, but nobody else is up. It's, um, I could do with somebody on that back rope, really, to wrap it up properly. It's quarter to eight. Oh, no, it's not. It's ten to eight. I've just managed to get it up. Um, and the destination is Loddon. Let's see what the day unfolds. Back end's going out. I know they mad really a lot stupidly long. Yeah. The rope was already wet through, but it's oh, yeah. Oops, back in, back in, back in. I don't know, the longest ropes I've ever known on a boat. Right. Well, 
I think that was my blowout day. Far too many. Plus the wine then, we had the wine didn't we? Always does it. See you later! Grape and grain. Grape and grain does not mix. How many times do you need that reinforcing in your stupid little brain? Where are we going here? Steam is not working. Right, off we pop. Ooh, it's a little bit fresh again. But it's lovely. I think we're going to have some rain later on this afternoon. But it's not going to be like it was the other day when it peed down virtually all day. Now then, we're the last up here. Yeah, so uh, a lovely meal. Well, Joe, had, well, he's still got half a Christie's meal left. He's going to have that for his lunch. Um, he didn't have any of mine because we were none of mine. Oh, give him my chips. Too many chips. So I had the scampi and cod goo johns. It's were lovely. What's the matter? What? You bossy boots. Oh, we're going to swing forward. Have you seen how long that rope is? Yeah, I know. And it's really wet and heavy because it's already wet through. So it wasn't just going like... Is that on? Yes. Well, I wouldn't record me right now because I'm not a happy bunny. <laughs> I also have just woken up, so... Oh my god, I'm coming inside. It's freezing. Is it? Yeah. Ooh, well, I didn't last long up there. As nice as it looks, it's fresh. Ooh. Yeah. Never used to bother me the cold. Never does. Good God. If it's anything less than 10 degrees, I bloody hate it. What do you say? Oh, Joe. Uh, you can't get the stuff, can you? Uh, Lucy, can you do, do me another brew, please? Pardon? Can you do me another brew, that cup that I've left on the side? Yeah, that that cup there is Christine's, the one that's got stuff in it. But Does she want it yet? No. Huh? No, she'll have it when she, when she um, right, eventually sure. gets out of bed. Yeah, uh, coffee please. Coffee, do you want two sweeteners? Yes, please. You might need to put some more water in it, put that much in it, in the kettle. Water. Right. Water. 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 Dyke very soon. Water Well, I don't think there'll be enough before. Well, what do I know about inverters? I actually messaged Simon, our chairman, yesterday, saying that the inverter battery seems to be doing really well until we put the heating on and it seemed to go down very quickly. <clears throat> well, me and Joe were out, didn't we, for a little bit of bonding session. It's still tied up. And, um, oh, God. And um, when we got back, Christine had put the heater on for a bit with the inverter on. 
I didn't ever touch the blooming battery. It's it didn't move. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe once it gets to a certain point, it goes down a lot quicker. Well, Simon, I do apologise if you watch my videos. I do apologise for keep sending you texts because we've had the toilet still showing high. We had it pumped out yesterday, it still showed high. But it did that while he was on the week before us. And then when we got on, it was just showing low. So you can't tell, can you? Are you having it now for your breakfast? Oh, no, I'm having it for dinner. <laughs> <coughs> what you having? I was just about to say you probably have something else for breakfast, yeah. Yeah, so he's probably a bit fed up with me, keep texting him now. Well, it's Wednesday. Three full days left. Oh, no. It's not good enough, is it? So I think it cost £145 yesterday at Bolters and that was for one pump out and fuel. Yeah. But we have done some engine hours, I don't know how many. 200 and... what's that say? What's that supposed to say? It's got two dots in it. 2014.5 I think that is, I think it was along uh, 1900. Well, we've done more than 14 hours. <clears throat> 14 hours, we've done probably about 30 hours so far. Three mornings, aren't they? Unless they've already left to go through Yarmouth. Doesn't feel too bad now out here. It's when you get into that breeze. That's about two hours from Yarmouth. But going with the tide, I reckon we're there in one and three quarters. The time is 21 minutes past eight. Definitely a bit fresh. I'm going back in. Just sort of go around this bend, you should just be able to see two boats that are very close together, obviously tied up. So one's broken down. Where they're heading, nobody knows. Well, they must know, obviously. But... Come on, where are you? I haven't imagined it, honestly, it is down here somewhere. There we are. Now at some point I'm going to have to try and get past these, I think. Could be fun. Yeah. 
So the wind shouldn't be too bad now on this camera because I put my little wind muffler on it. Me microphones are on charge. Uh, we're very close to Stracey Arms now, I think that's it actually, they're in the mill there. Hmm, I think I'd better slow down and wait till we've gone past Stracey Arms before I attempt to go past these. Ooh. Definitely fresh. <clears throat> What's it called, that one? Gentle Lady. Gentle lady, is there such a thing? And the other one's Amy May. So which one's broke down? Well, I can't tell from here because it looks like there's somebody at the helm on both of them. Amy May, I'd sooner have Amy Will. A oh, no, Amy, that's not, I, no, Matthew, sorry. I don't mean your Amy. <clears throat> Although I have a story to tell you about her when I see you. Actually, that'll be, what date are we on now? Another 10 days. I'm come watching you at football and Amy's coming. <laughs> I mean, she'll be there as well. Six pound. So this was going to be our... Well, we, we was thinking possibly eat at Acle Bridge and then come down here. But we'd got sorted there and we enjoyed it. By the time I'd finished in the pub, there's no way I were driving a boat. Yeah. And we're not in a rush, are we? About three hours from Yarmouth to Loddon. Actually, we might go for that walk. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, because I think we've sorted for nothing. Oh, it's slowing down. I think we're having the, well, we are definitely having the Chinese. I can guarantee there'll be no leftovers whatsoever. Oops. So oh, he's moving over to that side to let us pass. Oh, we will do. Alright. Actually, I think we're morning up there. Looks like it.
Bridge and onwards. Ooh. Nice out, isn't it? Yeah, but you better put it away, there's an old woman coming. Who said that? So I've this is a true story, by the way. I was just telling Lucy about when me and her mum first split up. Well, it weren't when we first split up, it was when we last split up. Uh, and I'm, I'll give you a warning now, if you're easily offended, don't listen to this story. So, well, I hadn't been with a woman for a while, so I've been out with the lads. Now, we used to live sort of two minutes walk from Oldham Athletics football ground and there's a playing fields at the side called Clayton playing fields. And I was walking over there to go home and where the changing rooms was for the football pitches, I stumbled across an homeless girl. And uh, anyway, so I took her home and run her a bath, cleaned her up. Well, yeah, she got clean. Well, yeah. Uh, and well, she was very attractive. You've been warned. If you're still listening, you've been warned. And, well, one thing led to another. I hadn't, I hadn't been with a woman for, well, it must have been about three days by then. And, um, so anyway, we're, um, well, I'm, I'm, well, very passionately doing what you do. Well, the bloody noises she were making, anybody think she was still alive? Anyway, I did warn you. So don't report me to anybody, because if you listen to it and you had that many warnings, it's your own fault. Right, first time. Well, you can tell it was a bit of a messy day yesterday. So I paid for the drinks on my card for me and Joe. And then Lucy came in and I was talking to John and his wife and I said I'll get these and I went to give him a card and couldn't find it mm, it wasn't in the slot where I always put it I'm a bit sort of OCD whatever it's called everything in its place so so um, yeah, I couldn't, couldn't find it. It's panicking looking on the floor. The barmaid said, Well, you had it a minute ago. Looking all over the place, couldn't find it. Just about to go on me at Halifax app. Just about to go on me at Halifax app to um, cancel the card. And Lucy's got my wallet and found it in another little place. And I thought I'd looked everywhere in the wallet. That's the bottle of wine that did that. One day I will learn. But not today. Ten foot. I wonder if that woman actually got on that boat the other day. When was that? Sunday, weren't it, when we was coming up?
It's quite busy here. So on the chart that I printed out, which is you search for Norfolk Bros Tide Tables. Can't remember the website exactly. It said 944, but on the way up, it's the slack water I'm talking about now. On the way up, it said um, 927. And the time now <coughs> is 942. So it's taken us about two hours, hasn't it? And the, on the river distance chart, it says two and a quarter hours. But going with the tide, you don't actually know how fast you're going, do you? You're not creating any wash whatsoever. And you're just cruising along gently. It feels like you're not going too fast, but I've looked on the app. We're doing, we were doing six and a half miles an hour. Are they off to the fun fair? So quarter to ten. So half uh, twelve, quarter to one when we get to London. There's no way I'm getting on top of this boat. All this wind's like this. It's freezing. <laughs> 